Hi there, how's it going? This is Cross the Rubicon channel and today is the 28th of July. Matthew Tukaki, who's the chair of a Maori council in New Zealand. He's a Maori separatist and he believes Maori should be first class citizens and everybody else should be second and third, third class. And white Europeans should be third class. He believes in apartheid and he believes that Maori should own everything in New Zealand, even though he's only got a little bit of Maori in him, like most Maori supremacists. Matthew Tukaki wants to stop Fonterra, which is the biggest dairy company in New Zealand worth billions, from using Maori words. Maori words like Kapiti and Kofi and Awa. He wants them stopped from using Maori words in their product. This is what kind of bloke Matthew Tukaki is because he wants them to pay Maori because this is all about money and power. I hope Fonterra tell him to bugger off but they will capitulate like everybody in New Zealand. When Maori jump up and down about anything everyone caves. It's got to stop in New Zealand. The white European man and these even corporations should actually grow some. Matthew Tukaki, Joe Trinder, Willie Jackson, Raweri Waititi, Debbie Nariba Packer, and thousands of other radical extremist super troffa Maori right at the very top of the tree are screwing New Zealand over. And there's not one single political party, politician or press corporation that will take them on because they fear being called racist. Now in 1840, Maori had a language, obviously, but they didn't have a written language. Henry Williams, who was a missionary, he learned the Maori language and he put it down on paper. He put it down on paper and gave Maori their written Maori language. So it was an Englishman or a Brit who gave Maori their written language. But Matthew Tukaki and all the rest of these separatists are not going to tell you that. These people are a disgrace. They are filthy, dirty, disgusting people who just want apartheid in New Zealand and they want to become very, very rich off the backs of everybody else. They care nothing about the normal Maori in the street. They only care about each other and milking the whole system to make themselves very, very wealthy indeed. Okay, that's to you, Matthew Tukaki. See you later.